In tonight's Health Edge, the FDA approving a new drug that uses the herpes virus to fight cancer. Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy joins us now. And so they're using this virus as the first of its kind. We've heard of this before. It's immunotherapy. And this is actually the first time it's been approved by the FDA. Right. You know, we were just talking at the break. Thank goodness for people with big brains yes. that can figure this stuff out. So the way it works is that so you take a herpes virus, you change it so it's not as infectious and then inject it into cells. If it's a healthy cell, it can replicate, it can multiply. If it's an unhealthy cell, like a cancer cell, it multiplies, secretes this protein, busts up the cells, pow, it just busts it so it, so it explodes, and then the, the cancer cells go into the immune system, and then it releases an immune response, and that's how it kills it. It's just unbelievable stuff. So is there a risk of getting the herpes infection? So that's why they change okay. it. So that's a great question. Linda. So, so that's why they change it so that it does, it's not as infectious. But pregnant women, people with immune problems can definitely infect them. So it's important to, to ask your doctor about it. But here's an advance in melanoma. 10,000 people will die this year mm -hmm. from melanoma. So any advance in this disease is a welcome change for me. Mm -hmm. And it is being used just right now to treat melanoma. Not necessarily a cure at this point, and $65,000 for the Big first time. treatment. How common, though, will this kind of treatment be, be in the future? I think that it's going to be for fa f folks that have advanced melanoma. It, like you said, you know, it's very expensive. It doesn't extend lives, but it's one of the tools you can use for treatment. It can cause flu-like symptoms, nausea, vomiting. You know, it can make you feel like you're sick, like you've got the infection, but it can definitely advance. So if you've got that along with other treatments, you can really make a dent in people who have melanoma. And this is also being used. We've also heard of the HIV virus being used to kill cancer. This whole general uh, research that's being done right now is quite amazing. Exactly. So you're taking a, something that's usually uh, you know, an infection agent and going and finding out how it, do it, how it actually infects the body and using it to actually help human beings. So it's unbelievable. You know, you use it for Botox, for example. Botox is, is what? The Bosch line um, uh, toxin that used to kill people. Mm. And now you can attenuate to use it to treat, for example, esophageal problems. So it's amazing how smart people are and how we're advancing. That's why I love medicine. Every day there's some new stuff coming out, and I love talking about it in uh, 7 Action News. So hopefully we'll get more on the story and how it can uh, really help your family. So does that virus still stay in your system, or is the theory that cancer's worse for you? It, it does stay in the system, okay. but it's, it's changed. So imagine if you take okay. the virus, cut its arms off, cut its legs off, and then it reproduces. So it doesn't then infect you, but it still reproduces. It reproduces and produces this, this protein that just busts up the cells. Mm. And they explode. So the cells, the pieces of the tumor cells go everywhere. Then the immune system in your body attacks it and kills it. So it's an amazing advance to Approved me. by the FDA. Does this open the door for other similar treatments? Absolutely, it does. You know, I think that they've been, I mean, I think they've been, they've been talking about it and they have to use uh, safety trials and they have to make sure that it actually works in human beings. And so, you know, initially you start in animals and then you keep going forward. And I, I think that, I think this opens the door for others uh, who have similar ideas. So great, great advance. That's an incredible, doctor. Oh, Thank yeah, you. I'm juiced about it, you can tell. All right. Well, thank you so much. If you have a question for the good doctor, you can reach him at Dr. Nandy at WXYZ.com or you can send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it to him. Let's send it over to Dave.